I've had great satisfaction at several points in my career in hemostasis. The first greatest one, and probably still the one that I'm best known for, was the achievement of the complete sequence of factor VIII protein, cDNA, and gene, and expression. That's a hard one to, uh, to beat when you've been aiming for it and working on it with many, many colleagues over a period of, in my case, almost eight years. But you have to be in the right place at the right time and seize the opportunity. And I was focused on that project when the tools for achieving the result first became available, which was the monoclonal antibodies, the sensitive sequencing technology, the cloning, and expression technologies, which were all brought together to create the biotechnology industry. So I was able to achieve the complete purification at just the point in time when it was needed. And I wasn't alone in the race. There were three or four others. We came first equal with, with another team and uh, published uh, the same issue of Nature in 1984 with our three papers, which were covering the protein, the expression, and the gene. And I floated on that for a number of years. Uh, you do then have to think what you're going to do next after you've achieved your life's main goal. And in my case, that uh, was to not quit science and uh, uh, just have a nice life uh, doing general hematology. Well, I was tempted in that direction, but I decided there was more to do. And so I went to work for the Medical Research Council for 20 years, working on other projects, including the cloning of tissue factor, the establishment of its structure. That was a high point. Uh, we also worked on um, the uh, basic cause of haemophilia in terms of the underlying mutations. And uh, solving those was very exciting. And we built up a database that now has 10,000 individual uh, types of mutation recorded. But following on from that, and more recently, we took the original uh, study, which had led to cloned factor VIII, and others had worked on cloning factor IX, through to gene therapy. And that's what I continue my work on, and that's given uh, more satisfaction, more challenges, and more satisfaction. Back in 2010, we started the first a study that would establish safe, effective, and durable gene transfer for factor IX into patients with haemophilia B. Now we're working on patients with haemophilia A transferring the factor VIII gene, going back to my earlier work, into patients who can't make factor VIII. And we're seeing very, very exciting, satisfying results in that area too.